Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, I proceed. I continue with the methods of calculating national income. Actually, there are three methods, which is the first one expenditure approach. The second one is product approach and income approach. So these three different approach has different item to calculate the national income. Alright, let's proceed with expenditure approach. Okay, for expenditure approach, there are four components before I, I told you um, the four components uh, from household um, firms and government expenditure and also foreign sector so for household we have consumption so consumption is the expenditure made by household for personal use to adalah consumption for the second one is investment investment is expenditure made by firms okay for the using uh, of the business right and next for uh, government spending government spend their money for uh, their nation okay to government spending we denote as capital G for consumption we denote as capital C investment capital I okay uh, and for foreign sector we have export and import so in under expenditure approach we have to add okay add uh, export and minus import. So export minus import, we calculate as net export. Okay, this is the example to calculate GDP at market price. Under expenditure approach, we add all uh, all the components under expenditure approach. C at private expenditure plus G public expenditure. The other names for government spending is public expenditure. Private investment, change in stock. Change in stock pun termasuk dalam investment. Untuk change in stock, kita refer kepada value of the change in, in stock. Kalau value dia positif, you just tambah. Kalau value dia negative, minus. And then plus export minus import. You will get the GDP at market price. So, mula-mula yang kita nak cari adalah menggunakan expenditure approach ni untuk dapatkan GDP at market price. So, you will get... Uh, GDP at market price and later on we uh, find the gross national product at market price gross national product at factor cost and national income so this uh, this for this uh, formula is similar for all three approach okay uh, so we have the final one we have national income next product uh, Next approach is product approach. So, product approach, we add all final goods and services. Alright. Uh, we have basically three sectors. Primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. For primary sector, any kind of product that comes from the nature. For example, agriculture, fisheries, forestry, mining. Um, apa lagi? Um, mineral. Uh, so, semua tu bawah primary sector. Benda tu datang daripada um, daripada nature. Okay. Untuk secondary sector, um, biasanya ada dua, construction and manufacturing. Kita proseskan apa yang dalam primary sector, jadikan dekat secondary sector. Then basically, kita ada construction dengan dan juga manufacturing. Okay. Pembinaan dan juga pengilangan. Right, and tertiary sector, all types of services. Yang ni hanyalah sebahagian. Ada banyak lagi services. As long as it uh, belongs to services, you just tambah je dalam product approach. Yang kat sini, saya baik, uh, antaranya adalah business, tourism, insurance, retail, healthcare, electricity, other other services, government services, um, telecommunication, storage, shipping. Um, antaranya lagi apa? Hmm... Um, Telecommunication, communication, transportation, uh, finance, banking, dan banyak lah. So, as long as dia adalah produk, you just tambahkan semua. Tak perlu nak identify this one is primary or secondary or tertiary. No, no need. You just you just tambahkan semua jenis produk to get GDP at market price. So, this is the example for the um, product approach. So, you will just add agriculture, forestry and fishing plus mining plus manufacturing plus construction plus electricity, gas and water 
um, transportation, storage and communication, wholesale retail, hotel and restaurant, finance, insurance, real estate, government service and other services. You just tambahkan semua to get GDP at market price. Kemudian, kita cari JNP at market price dan juga JNP at factor cost dan juga national income. Later, I will show the the formula to get uh, yang kat bawah ni. Okay. For income approach, semua jenis income. Jadi, um, dari segi uh, four factors of production kan, land, labor, capital, entrepreneur. So, kalau land, we have rent. Kalau labor, we have wages and salaries. Kalau land, labor, capital, interest and dividend and entrepreneur, profit. So, kita just tambahkan semua income, types of income to get GDP. Okay, walaupun kita guna different approach, expenditure approach ataupun product approach ataupun income approach, national income of the country would be the same. Okay, contohnya kalau income you, contoh sebagai analogi untuk personal eh, kalau lah income uh, 4,000, jadi you akan berbelanja sebanyak 4,000. Jadi kalau you, uh, income you 4,000, itu menggunakan income approach. Bila uh, bila you berbelanja 4,000, itu dari segi expenditure approach. Apa yang you belanjakan. And then, barang-barang uh, yang you dapat daripada 4,000 adalah bernilai 4,000. Itu barang-barang yang barang-barang uh, yang you ada dari segi product approach. Dia sama juga nilainya dengan income yang you 4,000 tadi. Bernilai 4,000. Okay, jadi walaupun guna expenditure ataupun product ataupun income, national income tetap sama. Okay, ini adalah contoh untuk national income from income approach. Okay, uh, daripada GDP, GNP and uh, national income. So basically yang ke bawah ni, di bawah ni adalah sama sahaja. Kita hanya berbeza dekat untuk mencari GDP. Gross Domestic Product. Tapi untuk income, kita tak ada market price ataupun factor cost sebab dia income. So, tak ada. Kalau sebelum ni expenditure dengan product, kita ada value yang market price, value harga pasaran dan juga factor cost yang nilai yang sebenar yang diperoleh oleh uh, pengeluar. Tapi untuk income, tiada. Alright. Faham ya? Dan kemudian saya nak explain uh, how to okay the formula to get GDP MP GDP GNP MP so a lot of formula jadi saya simplifikan dalam bentuk uh, flow chart boleh jadi flow flow diagram macam ni so this start daripada GDP at market price ini adalah permulanya okay kalau you main game ini adalah permula dia. Okay, GDP at market price. So, macam mana nak dapat GDP at market price? Depends on item yang ada dalam soalan. Contoh, kalau item tu majoritinya adalah expenditure, you guna dalam bentuk expenditure approach. Kalau dalam bentuk um, kalau dalam bentuk uh, product, so sebagai product approach. Tapi startnya kat sini. Ini adalah permula GDP at market price. And then next question. Kalau lah next question diminta GNP at market price. So, you pergi laluan ini. GDP at market price. Daripada domestic tukar kepada national. You ingat lagi domestic. Semua uh, semua produk. Semua produk yang kita produce dalam negara tu sendiri. Tak kira lah warga negara apa. Yang ni GNP. JNP kita nak tengok warga negara sahaja. Jadi, you tambah dengan NFIFA. Apa maksud NFIFA? NFIFA adalah net factor income from abroad. Sometimes soalan dia akan bagi NFIFA. Sometimes dia akan bagi factor income receive dengan factor income paid. So, you just tambah yang receive. Receive maksudnya duit yang diterima daripada luar negara. Contoh, Ali yang bekerja di uh, US. So, you punya gaji tu akan masuk ke negara kita. Kita tambah. And factor income paid maksudnya Uh, Fatimah daripada Indonesia bekerja di Malaysia so duit income yang dia dapat tu kita akan deduct sebab dia adalah orang Indonesia so kita minuskan factor, factor income pay dan kita akan dapat GNP MP kemudian soalan tanya to calculate GNP FC for example soalan dia boleh pergi ke mana-mana hala ke mana arah pun tapi kebijaksanaan you mengikut jalan yang benar Okey, untuk GDP GNP MP. 
daripada GNPMP nak tukar kepada GNPFC market price nak tukar kepada factor cost you jawapan yang you dah dapat GNPMP ni contoh jawapan B minus dengan indirect tax plus subsidies you akan dapat Uh, jawapan untuk GNP FC Indirect tax adalah tax yang tak langsung Sebagai contoh, kadang-kadang diguna term tax on expenditure Once you berbelanja, beli KFC, beli MACD Ataupun beli apa-apa barang, dikenakan tax 6% Kalau kita sekarang, SST 6% Itu adalah indirect tax uh, So, penggunaan uh, term dia Indirect tax sometimes diguna tax on expenditure. So, you dah dapat JNPFC. Kemudian soalan bertanya pasal berkenaan dengan national income ataupun net national product at factor cost. Ini adalah benda yang sama. National income ataupun net national product at factor cost. That's why saya buat macam ni. National income atau net NNP at factor cost FC. So, daripada G cross nak tukar kepada net you minus dengan depreciation daripada national income nak dapatkan personal income you just tambah transfer payment minus corporate income tax minus retained earning minus uh, social security contribution minus insurance premium minus KWSP ataupun EPF so you will get nilai personal income dan daripada personal income you akan dapat uh, untuk dapatkan disposable personal income personal income minus personal income tax and you will get disposable personal income Okay, itu laluannya kalau begini. Boleh jadi soalan dia lepas GDPMP nak tanya GDPFC. So, you ikut jalan yang uh, ke bawah ni. Daripada GDPMP kepada GDPFC, GDPMP minus indirect tax plus subsidi kepada GDPFC. Sometimes soalan dia bertanya GDPMP terus kepada net. Okay, GDPMP net domestic. NDPMP. Daripada gross, nak tukar kepada net. Gross tukar kepada net, minus depreciation. Dan, lebih memudahkan mengikut soalan tu, you tengok dia punya uh, flow. Jalan yang mana. Boleh jadi ke sini. Uh, boleh jadi ke sini. Sometimes, GDPMP dah minta kepada GNPMP. And then, next question, GDPFC. So, you tak payah. You jangan reverse. Ha, saya tak ajar ni. Re reverse, nanti you pening. Jadi, you step balik daripada yang mana GDPMP dah ada jawapan tadi. Mungkin daripada A, nak dapatkan C. Okay, terus kepada GDPFC. Okay, jangan reverse. Alright. You akan tambah lagi mistake untuk pengiraan. Alright. You cuba, cuba ingat formula ni. Uh, InsyaAllah dia lebih memudahkan Untuk you uh, menjawab Dalam soalan nanti Alright next Untuk transfer payment Transfer payment such as pension Transfer payment adalah directly government Bagi kepada Rakyat-rakyatnya um, okay Kepada citizen For example pension okay uh, Pensioner dia tidak bekerja tapi Diberi pension Scholarship uh, Uh, unemployment benefit kalau yang sekarang contohnya macam bantuan sehari hidup uh, package prihatin, you tak buat apa-apa kepada kerajaan tapi kerajaan bagi uh, tu maksud transfer payment, jangan tertukar dengan online transfer ok bukannya online transfer, you transfer daripada Maybank kepada SMB, no no that is not transfer payment, transfer payment direct daripada kerajaan kepada kita and company's profit consists of retained profit, distributed profit and company's tax Right, and this is the example. You may answer this question, and the answer I already uh, upload in uh, at the course content at you future ataupun island. You boleh tengok jawapannya. Right, for any problem, just uh, ask me in the comment at you future ataupun YouTube. Alright, uh, so I think I should end this video. Later, I will explain about real income, per capita income and growth rate. Alright, everyone. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.